Hello everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode here of Terraria Master Mode coming at you from the Drunk World Seed. I do hope you guys are having a lovely day. Thank you so much for all of your lovely support you guys have been showing throughout this series. I really very much do appreciate it. If we can keep it up with about a thousand likes per episode as a bit of a goal, that would be lovely. Of course, if you don't want to miss out on my future episodes from the series here, the best way to keep up to date is simply to subscribe with those bell notifications turned on. But if you really want to go one further with your support, go ahead and use code Python when ordering any sneak energy drinks or to get 5% off when ordering any of my Apex gaming PCs. So you join me here at the Hallow at night time and you guys probably know what I'm trying to farm out right now. Well, not really farming out as much as trying to collect. We are looking for these bad boys right here, the Prismatic Lace Wing. We get ourselves a supply of those, and we can start farming out the Empress of Light. Now, unfortunately, our surface hollow, in terms of a non-desert surface hollow, is actually extremely very small. It's literally just these two trees here before it becomes a crimson biome. So, you know, a little bit less than ideal in terms of farming out the Prismatic Lace Wings, because I definitely feel like this spawn more often around this area rather than in a desert but I don't know I could be wrong maybe they do have a chance of spawning in a hallowed desert talking of spawning I do wonder whether or not me using a battle potion would mean that it has a slightly higher chance of spawning in because I've literally been roaming around here this entire night so far and we've only had two prismatic lace wings spawn in so I don't know man I feel like there's a lot of testing to be had here oh my my god okay it's starting to get a little bit nasty around here ladies and gentlemen but the good news is these guys are actually pretty easy to take down and their attacks are pretty easy to avoid all you gotta do is just look at where the tornadoes spawn in and then well that's about it really <laughs> They're so easy to take down. There we are. There's a forbidden fragment. We get three of those, and then we can make ourselves a hybrid mage slash summon set of armor, which is uh, pretty cool. Wow. At this rate, we may have to make a slightly larger artificial freaking hallow here. Also, this is kind of cool. We got all these little freaking gem sharks coming up. <laughs> this is kind of awesome. Oh, hey, buddy. How's it hanging? I must admit, I can't actually remember if there's any other drops that you can get from sand elementals, but I guess we shall see as time goes on, eh? Here we are. That's another one taken out of the game. Oh, I need two prismatic lace wings. is still better than nothing, so I'm not going to complain about that one. We've got plenty of other stuff going on here as well. A bunch of banners, a bunch of stuff that we could probably sell because they're duplicates. Oh, we've got a lot of stuff, guys. Look at all this crap. It's also worth noting that between episodes, I've also been going ahead and uh, periodically farming some truffle worms as well. We've got three of the buggers so far, so we're not doing too bad in terms of a boss summon collection, huh? So then, taking a quick look at our Plantera arena for Plantera bulbs. Uh, it's not looking so good. No pink splodges as far as I can see so far. Anyway, that are nearby the arena, that is. Ah, darn it. You know what? One day we will actually have one spawn around here. That'd be fantastic. Ow! Did that literally just spawn in front of my very eyes and I didn't even see it? Huh. Alright, well, there you go. You've seen it here first, guys. My little Plantera bulb spawning summoning platforms. They're working! I want this freaking boss to be done with now. I don't want to take him down anymore. So here we are. Let's get this thing underway, shall we? Where is it? There it is. Oh, very cool. Let's roll. Oh, go on. I've not taken a single shred of damage yet, ladies and gentlemen. Let's have a flawless. Let's go, man. Oh, my God. I actually just had a flawless Plantera victory. I mean, obviously, it probably wouldn't have been flawless if I didn't have my hallowed armor and therefore immunity buff on. But we still did it. <laughs> hey, look at that. There's a life fruit there as well. 
Oh my god, this episode has been pretty dang pog so far. Well, I say it's been pretty pog so far, but actually, yeah, we still didn't get the master mode drop, so maybe not that pog. So in terms of the Terraria wiki, apparently the Empress of Light is actually the next boss in progression. So, I mean, I don't see a reason why we can't go ahead and start giving it a bit of a go. Hey guys, random side note. Look at how much money I've got, dude. 70 platinum coins. <laughs> I think the only time I might have ever had more than that is maybe in a Calamity mod series. Oh, mama. Imagine the reforges we could do. Imagine the gear we could get. Oh, I'm rich. Did you know what, guys? The Empress of Light is what we're going to go for. We're not going to try the daytime one just yet. I'm feeling nowhere near ready to even try to attempt that. Not just yet, anyway. Uh, but we'll still give it a really good shot. We'll get ourselves a bunch of buff potions, as we usually do. I just came to the realization that we can't make any more endurance potions because we no longer have armored cave fish. Uh-huh. Are you telling me that I need to do a big old fishing session again, Terraria? Because I've got no problems doing that. I like getting crates and fish. It's cool. I like fishing in this game. I genuinely do. So once it becomes night time, we're going to get this thing underway. We're going to try and take down our first Empress of Light. The first ever Master Mode one I've ever tried to take down as well. Yeah, this is a series of first times and discovering weapons that I've snoozed on, isn't it? Oh, hey there, Rainbow Slime. Well, that's something I don't see every day. I just realized I didn't even bring my prismatic lace rings with me. Ah, bugger. But thankfully, we've got on ourselves a pylon network. Yeah, see, this is why you do these things. This is why you get pylon networks set up. You can get yourself some summons, get yourself back to your arena real quick, like, release the Kraken and get... Oh, God, I've already taken damage. That's not very good, is it? All right, here we are. Yeah. Whoa, it's a bot. I keep forgetting it's a bullet hell boss, isn't it? All right. Got to stay out of the light. Stay out of the light there, buddy. Stay out of the light. Oh, God. This isn't going very well so far. Wow, I feel like I've got no movement speed whatsoever. This is ridiculous. Whoa. Okay. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yep. Just about kind of avoided that. Oh, boy. This isn't going well. Ah, oh, this is a failed attempt. If ever I saw one. This is a failed attempt. If ever I saw one. This is just terrible, man. We're not doing crap to this boss, man. All right. Do we need to use the seedler? I was kind of hoping that the homing projectiles here might just do the job. But we are getting absolutely schmungdingled right now. Okay. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I'm with 284 damage. What are you smoking? 280 damage towards me. Okay. We are in no position to even attack this boss, man. Wow. Okay. Uh, right. We are skipping, therefore, up to Duke Fish Run. Because you know what I need right now? Fish Run wings. All right. Let's do it. Let's freaking do it. We're going to try and take on Duke Fish Run in Master Mode instead. Because holy mackerel was that insane. To be honest with you, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not really expecting to even be able to do this, to be honest. I've never tried to take on Duke Fishron in Master Mode before, so this is definitely going to be a bit of a different one. All right, let's do it. We are going to continue on with the Scourge of the Corruptor simply because the homing projectiles are very nice indeed. Just got to be careful and keep on that dashing. There we are. All right, not doing too bad so far. Wow. Why do I feel like I've got, like, no movement speed? Like, seriously, man. It's just crazy. All right, a little bit of that, a little bit of that. Yeah, keep on coming, buddy. Keep on coming. There you go. Look at the health bar going down. Very nicely. Very, very nicely. Oh, is it me? Is he getting way, way quicker? There you go, there you go. There you go, there you go. Do the damage, do the damage, do the damage. Keep on going. Oh, snappers. Okay, okay, okay. Now things are getting interesting. Now things are getting interesting. 170 damage, 264 damage. Wow. Oh my god. There's no way. There's no way. I can't do this. I can't do this. What do you think I am? Good at this game? Jesus Christ, man. All right, any second. Oh god. Any second now, it's going to be teleport phase. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't do this, I can't do this, I can't do this, I can't do this. Oh, oh boy, 
Now it's just all about up and down, isn't it? Oh, no, no, it's all about death. There we go. And the angle is dead. Oh, God, hell's blazes. I, I must admit, I got further than I thought I would. I did not think I would get to third phase there. Right. So what is apparent to me is we do not have the necessary agility skills for this. Which then tells me that we need to head to the dungeon and try to get ourselves the master ninja gear. I think if we get ourselves the master ninja gear, we might be in a way better position, to be honest with you. We've already got the tiger climbing gear. We need the tabby and the black belt. And then we might be okay to try this thing again. I just feel like I'm so slow. Like, this mount, as nice as it is, A, it doesn't really have much in terms of agility, and B, it's not that fast. It really isn't. All right, battle potion up. Let's do this thing. Ha <laughs> ha. Let's see what we can do here, my friendos. We're ba barbecue ribs. Major improvements to stats. Oh, hell yeah. The more of those top tier food items we can get, the better things are going to be, okay? So then, Bone Lee. That is who we are looking for. Basically, that's the only guy I need to look for because he gives both the black belt and the tabby. Oh, well, there's a rocket launcher already. Ha, huh, I didn't say very long. Bone feather. Okay, very nice. Hey, we got a paladin dude. How's it hanging there, broski? Wow, there's a lot of dudes down there, actually. <laughs> well, this is a bit crazy now, isn't it? Okay, seem to be doing all right so far. I just need to take on that paladin. He needs to die. Very much so. Come Never mind! Oh boy, this really is going to be the episode where the death counter goes insane, isn't it? I could just feel it. I mean, who says you can't make a dungeon spawner room in one of the top rooms, right? I mean, why not? Why the heck not? I'm just going to do what I'm going to do. I'm going to see if I can't make myself a little bit of a spawner room here. Shadow Jousting Lance. 172 melee damage. Whoa! Well, gosh darn. All right, well, that seems kind of cool. Ooh. Just seems like a short sword. Well, a long sword, I guess. <laughs> yeah. All right. I think this was time wasted, to be honest. This doesn't really seem to be spawning that many dudes. Maybe you need to be in, like, the actual dungeon to get maximum spawn rates for a farm type thing. So, yeah. Ah, well, we gave it a go, didn't we? All right. So maybe this room where the paladin was in before, maybe this is going to be the location for our new spawning farming dungeon farming dude's room of killing. Yeah, that's a great name. Good job, Python. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now we do the damage, ladies and gentlemen. Now we do the damage. Go on, get wrecked, you son of a turd. You're not killing me again. Not this time, buddy. I am going to exact my revenge and kill you. Yes, yes, go on. All right, I think I just got him. Oh! But, okay, I did get him, but he still killed me. Oh, I see. He's trying to have the bloody last hurrah now. Oh, for God's sake. And I don't know if you guys saw that just before I respawned, but freaking Bo Lee was there. Ah, my God, this game so far. Alrighty, so currently I'm just digging out a nice simple shaft just so we can drop ourselves directly down into the eventual dungeon farming room. Just to make our lives a little bit easier, I guess. I mean, there's nothing really more to it than that. And of course, the blood moon is rising. Yeah, why wouldn't it? <laughs> really? Wow, this game, I feel like, is punishing me now. Alrighty, guys, so the shaft has been dug. The time has come uh, to kick some booty and get some sweet revenge. Goodness me, there's a lot of stuff on the floor there, but I don't go down there. Not just yet. I need to get rid of that paladin first, and then we can have a little bit of a sweep and see what there is there. All right, I did see a tabby there on the pickup. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Hold on. Give me a minute there, buddy. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. I mean, I guess we could always resort to cheese strategy one. Uh, yeah, this seems to do the job, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, come on, man! Stupid freaking shadow beam stab bugger. You, I hate you. I hate you. Necromancer, I hate you. Welcome to my cheese box, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Ain't no son of a gun getting me in here. Nuh-uh. Ain't happening, son. Well, aside from maybe those dungeon spirits, but that won't happen very often, surely. Hey, guys, you know how I was mentioning about the 10 times spawn rate playthrough in the last episode? Can you imagine 10 times spawn rate here? This is already hell enough as it is. Hey, look at that. We've got a paladin shield. We've got a key brand. There's a paladin hammer. Oh boy, there's lots of stuff going on here actually. <laughs> you can't get me now, you necromancer butthead. 
Ah, okay, I can see another tabby on the floor as well. What we are looking for is the black belt, and then I think for now, we will just about be done, because screw this place to the highest degree. Whoa! So much stuff! <laughs> wow, that really was a lot of stuff. But was there a black belt in there? I confess, I wasn't paying quite enough attention to the pickup. Hey guys, you know how I'm always on about how the pirate invasion is probably the greatest way to get a lot of money very, very quick in this game? Well, uh, I think I may have come up with a second thing. Uh, this, the dungeon, the hard mode dungeon. We have gotten so much money so far, it's ridiculous. Look at that, over a platinum and a half. Woohoo! Oh God, the diabolist spawns here! What? Since when, man? <laughs> what? I thought you usually get one of the magic dudes spawn in each of the rooms with different background walls. But, but no, they spawn wherever they please. I mean, yeah, sure. You do you, buddy. You do do you. I, I think I've given up at this point. I don't even care. This is going to take a freaking ton of editing to edit in the death counts. But what ifs? I'm sure you guys are getting a freaking laugh or two out of this. <laughs> So, there is the Paladin's Hammer. Very, very cool. We've got the Morning Star with five summon tag damage, 177 summon damage. Woo, baby. 5% summon tag crit chance. So, it actually adds critical strike chance to your summons. Dang. That's kind of epic. Wow. Guys, is it time? Is it time to change tag? Is it time to change loadout? Is it? time to go back to being a summoner. Hey, what do you guys think, eh? I think it could be a fun idea to try and switch back to summoner. Yeah, all right. Maybe as an episode end goal, we try to come up with a super powerful summoner loadout. What do you guys think, eh? I'm already thinking of one massive thing we can do, and that's to buy the tiki armor. Ah, oh, we got two tabbies, but no black belts. Ah, oh, sad, sad noises. Ah, well, we'll get there in the finish, guys. We will get that Master Ninja gear. That is going to be part of our goal for today, okay? Hey, we've got a Wisp in a bottle, though. That's kind of pog. Summon idea number one, the Tiki Armor. Here we go, my friendos. We will be going from 74 defense down to 59. That's actually still a fair amount of defense. That's more than I thought it would be. Uh, increases max number of minions by one. That's two. That's three. Increases minions again. So, what? At least four minions? Ooh. Increases minion damage by 10. So, that's a grand total of 30% increased damage for the Blady Boys. Two, three, four, five. Okay, we've got five minions so far. Okay, that's a good start. The Hercules Beetle is another thing we should probably get. Increases knockback of minions, increases damage of minions by 15%. Very nice. Okay, idea number two. We go ahead and reforge the Morning Star. At, oh my god. 302 summon damage. Wow. Okay, that's pretty slow. All right, we're looking for menacing on here to grant 19% increased minion damage. Oh. Okay, yeah, that'll do nicely. Idea number three, we get our pre-existing summon gear and just have a look at it, basically. We've got the pygmy necklace right there. It increases minions by one. All right. This might seem like a silly idea, but I genuinely think trying to get myself a legendary Morningstar might be a better idea. I need that speed, ladies and gents. This thing is severely slow in speed, isn't it? It's going to be expensive, but I genuinely think the speed is going to be worth it. Let's... Oh, there it is. Oh, my God. Yes. All right, cool. I mean... A little bit of speed is better than no speed at all, right? So there we are. 15% damage, 11% speed, 5% crit chance, 10% size, 15% knockback. Woohoo! That's a lot of stuff there. Might as well go for menacing on the pygmy necklace. And yeah, once we get ourselves the necromantic scroll, we can make ourselves the papyrus scarab with the Hercules beetle here. So yeah, got some good stuff going on here, guys. All right. So, I think it's time. I think it's time to get ourselves back down to the dungeon and do some good old-fashioned poning. That's right, my blady boys should hopefully do the job real nice-like. And if they don't, well, that's just stupid. Let the ponage commence! All right! <laughs> oh, this is about to get very, very real indeed. Wow, all right, let's do a little bit of that. And, oh my god. Doing one damage. Look at how many one damages we're doing. Uh, okay. I didn't think that this would be able to go through the floor. What if I did that? 
Because that, that doesn't even work. Oh, I'd be able to do so much more damage if I could actually just get in there. Ah, uh, what do we do? Do we just go balls to the wall with this thing? I'm actually kind of stuck. Like, what should I do? I've got my cheese box, but we need to do something like this. Oh, wow. This actually does a lot of damage. <laughs> wow. Okay. Magnet sphere. Very cool. Nice. I wasn't actually expecting to get that today, but hey-ho. We got there. We got there, didn't we? Okay. I mean, to be honest with you guys, I'm starting to feel like the Blady Boys are starting to run out of effectiveness. I mean, they do like one or two damage a lot of the time. But then again, they do one or two damage uh, quite a lot, you know? Hmm. I might give it a go against Duke Fishron, to be honest, but maybe not in today's episode. Maybe next episode we'll make it a boss ponage episode of absolute destruction, eh? All right, I think we're just about good for now. We did indeed get the black belt. So, ladies and gentlemen, we can make ourselves one of the most powerful accessories you can get in the game, period. And that is the beauty that is the Master Ninja gear. So let's grab it out. There we are. The tiger climbing gear. We simply pop on over here. And there it is. Fantastic. The question is, do we sack off the pygmy necklace for now? Or do we sack off the Hercules beetle for now? I'm thinking we keep the number of minions. Oh, dude, it's gonna hurt to not use that. It really is. But anyways, let's go ahead and reforge this bad boy. We're looking for menacing. I'm just looking for damage at this point. I like going for damage. Oh, and there it is. Fantastic. We can now dodge again and dash again. Haha! <laughs> you know what I'm realizing, ladies and gents? We don't have a summoner emblem. We've got a ranger, a sorcerer, even a warrior emblem, but no sign of a summoner one. Do I have one laying around in any of the other chests, namely this one? Uh, no, that's another ranger emblem. Oh, we definitely need a summoner emblem. I'm just saying we could get another 19% freaking damage from that bad boy, dudes. Oh, might be worth going for that. But sadly, I don't have a guide around. So what we're going to do is actually end off today's episode, my friends. An episode of ups and downs, I'm sure you guys would agree. But we've got some pretty epic things going on here, my friends. And I'm very excited to see what kind of damage we could do against some bosses in the next episode. So thank you very much for watching. So of course, if you guys have enjoyed today's episode, I'd very much appreciate it. If you haven't already, if you guys would head down below the video and drop a like on it. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ding that bell if you don't want to miss out on my future content. But for now, thanks for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.